What is going on Cardano community? Welcome back to the official DAP Central channel. My name is Fareed and as a part of today's video, I want to give you guys some brief updates surrounding the development going on within the Cardano ecosystem. As a part of today's video, we're going to kick things off by reviewing general Cardano development updates in which we're going to cover the TVL on Cardano, as well as some of the top influencers and most traded NFTs over the course of the last few days. After that, we're going to switch gears and talk a little bit about AADA Finance and their fourth on-chain governance proposal, which has officially passed. And then in closing, we're going to talk about Indigo and their proposed protocol working group. And then we're going to wrap up by highlighting the Teddy Swap preview testnet, which has officially launched on Cardano. Now, before we get into that, if it's your guys' first time stopping by the channel here, I am a single stake pool operator operating the official DAP Central stake pool. And if you guys are looking to contribute to my efforts to educate the broader Cardano community, then consider delegating with my stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. Now that we've got the introduction out of the way, let's jump straight into our first topic for today, which is going to be the growing TVL on Cardano over the last month. So this is going to be a chart here that we have from none other than Cardano Daily. If you guys are not already following them on Twitter, I recommend that you go ahead and do that. Now, what this chart here is breaking down is the fact that over the course of the last month, we've seen a TVL increase on Cardano specifically of about 69%. Now, how does this compare to other blockchains outside of Cardano? So as we can see here, we have ASTAR, which has over the course of the last month, a TVL increase of let's see here 83 percent followed by canto or canto which has a tvl increase of 80 percent and coming in at number three we've got cardano with a tvl right now of about 122 million so it's actually slightly higher than what it was here on february 17th but that constitutes a 69 or 70 percent growth over the last 30 days Right behind Cardano, we've got Hedera, Arbitrum Optimism, and a few other blockchains. But this again here is just a reinforcement of the fact that money and ADA is flowing into the ecosystem as we continue to see the TVL grow on chain. Now, if I jump over here to DeFi Llama, as you guys will notice, we are currently sitting at a 122 million um, TVL on the chain right now. Now, again, keep in mind, this is in terms of USD. If I jump over and actually transla translate this to ADA, we're going to see that we are actually close to breaking an all time high with more than 303 million of the Cardano tokens currently locked on chain. If I jump over into the next topic that we're going to be talking about for today, this is going to be the top influencers within the last week. Now, as a general rule of thumb, I would definitely say go ahead and follow or at least check out all these different personalities on Twitter. But coming in at number one, we've got Dan from CCV. Number two, we've got Darren. Number three, we've got the official input output Twitter account. Coming in at number four, we've got Lucid, followed by Cardano Daily. Again, shout out to them and all the wonderful information they're providing into the ecosystem. And then right behind them, we've got Ada Whale, Daniel Friedman, Rick McCracken, Subcritical, shout out to him as well. And then coming in very lastly, we've got Peter. Moving right along, I want to highlight the top traded NFTs over the course of the last seven days. Now, in my previous Cardano Scoop videos, I began um, talking a little bit more about NFTs. And again, that's something that I plan on doing as the channel grows. But coming in at number one, which I definitely did not expect, again, is going to be the ADA Inmates Collection. Now, in my prior update, they were also number one. So the fact that they've consistently been at number one for at least two weeks now does say something about the strength and the backing in terms of community for this particular project. Now, they've raked in a total of 308,000 of the Cardano tokens, followed by number two, which is the Alley Cats collection with almost 2.5 um, excuse me, with almost a quarter of a million in terms of ADA and trading volume. Coming in at number three, we've got another blue chip, which is Clay Nation. Coming in at number four, we've got the Ape Society with just over 200,000 ADA. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of quickly breeze down the rest, which include Ghost Chain, Chilled Kong, Clay Nation, Space Buds, Old Money, and the Cardano Crocs Club. That is going to do it for our brief intro here. Again, just kind of covering the TVL the influencers and the top traded nft collections within cardano now the next item i want to talk to you guys about is going to be aada finance which if you guys are not aware of is going to be a DeFi platform built 
on Cardano. Now, as a part of my latest update on this project, I highlighted the fact that they were currently having their fourth on-chain governance proposal, which basically con consisted of, excuse me, of the addition of brand new assets to borrow against. So it says here in terms of new assets that we can borrow, that includes Jed Shen, the IBTC token, the Clay Nation token, and the Singularity Net token. And then in terms of new collateral, you can now go ahead and use Jed and Shen directly on their platform. So it reads here, governance vote number four has officially passed. New assets for borrowing and new collateral assets have been added to AADA Finance. So this team continues to build. And as I mentioned, they're one of the first DeFi protocols to launch on Cardano. And they continue to use their on-chain governance platform, which is basically giving the power back to the community who holds their token. Moving right along, I want to highlight the next story for today, which is going to be surrounding the indigo protocol now if you guys have not heard of indigo before they're going to be a synthetics platform built on cardano allowing users to get price exposure to certain assets that may not necessarily live or be native to cardano through their platform now what i want to highlight today is going to be an additional on-chain proposal for their dao now read so this is going to be a temp check proposal for their DAO approval to form a protocol advisor working group. Now, if you're not sure exactly what this group is or what it's supposed to do, I'm gonna break that down, but to kind of just wrap it up in a nutshell, their goal is going to be to basically put together ideas for future proposals, given the fact that they have a much better idea as to what's going on and a much deeper depth of knowledge surrounding the actual platform. So it reads here from the very top, the Indigo Labs team would like to propose that the Indigo DAO authorize the creation of a protocol working group or PWG for short. Working groups are commonly used in DAOs as a way for selected members to collaborate on important issues or projects and to give detailed guidance and advice to the greater DAO membership. In this way, working groups can help ensure that the most thoughtful and thoroughly debated suggestions are presented as temp checks and then as on-chain governance proposals for a vote by the full DAO membership. So again here, their goal is going to be to basically have temp checks in which they raise some ideas that may gain traction um, prior to them actually launching it on on-chain for the actual full DAO to vote on. So again, this is going to be kind of a closed vetting group for any proposals coming to the Indigo protocol. Now it continues to read, we propose that the PWG be authorized by the DAO to focus on suggested improvements to the protocol, that is improvements to the reward structure, fee structure, economic incentives, safeguards, and etc. Now these will form the features and desired economic logic of the protocol. In closing here of this particular article, and if you guys want to read this in its entirety, I will leave the link to it down in the description below. It states here several participants in the Indigo Discord have already been invested, or excuse me, have already invested a good deal of effort and expertise in analyzing the protocol and have identified important issues and bugs. Now, the team thinks that it's in their best interest and in the best interest for the DAO and of the protocol to take advantage of these members insights and their efforts by asking them to be the initial members of the PWG. One last thing I want to note here is that it states that the Indigo Labs team would not be a member of the PWG, but it will be authorized to attend meetings and to provide assistance as requested. So again, that's really, really key there. And again, the fact that they're not only continuing to use their on-chain governance platform, but they're continuing to build um, is really good sign here by the Indigo team. If you guys are not aware, I did release a uh, recent video highlighting the fact that they now are also supporting liquid staking, which allows for you to earn passive income on the ADA that you use as your collateralized debt position on the Indigo platform. And then very recently, they've also gone ahead and actually implemented a DEX aggregator feature, which allows for you to earn the best prices when it comes to trading any of the I assets, um, which basically allows for you to look across four of the top DEXs right now in Cardano and give you a pretty simple to read and pretty simple to use price comparison. Having said that, that's going to wrap it up for that update there on the Indigo temp check. Moving right along into the last story for today, this is going to be surrounding the Teddy swap protocol. 
Teddy Swap is going to be an upcoming DEX on Cardano, and I believe they're aiming to launch on the mainnet sometime in this coming March. Now, having said that, it reads here, we're excited to announce our incentivized testnet on Cardano is now live. This was posted about 12 hours ago prior, or excuse me, as of me shooting this video, and it's been out for just a little bit now with a lot of community members jumping on to actually provide their feedback. If you guys have not done so already, I will leave the official link to this article, which contains the link to the testnet if you guys are looking to earn some additional of the Teddy tokens. Now they've got a fully dedicated article here, which I'm not gonna break down just yet, but I will be releasing a fully dedicated video showing you guys how to set up your wallet, how to connect to the preview testnet, and how to actually complete some swaps using the Teddy Swap decks. So again here, we've got an introduction surrounding the actual testnet. Then it kind of talks about the incentivization of the testnet and how you can actually go ahead and provide liquidity um, perform swaps and actually batch transactions in order to earn what they call points. Now, depending on how many points you earn, that will dictate how many of the Teddy tokens you'll be able to earn or receive once the actual incentivized test net completes. And they've also got some pretty thorough scoring examples here that you guys can see on screen. Very lastly, I do want to highlight the fact that the Teddy Swap team has officially completed their Teddy Bears Club NFT collection sale in which we saw, I want to say somewhere around 700 to 1000 of these NFTs, which sold for about 350 ADA go off the market. Now they are also trading on secondary marketplaces such as CNFT.io and JPEG.store. If you guys want to find out more about this NFT, its utility and exactly what it's going to give you in terms of benefits on the Teddy Swap platform, then make sure to check out my latest video, which highlights the entire collection and the utility in much more detail. Having said that, I believe that is going to bring us to a close for today's Cardano Scoop update. Again, I try to keep this as brief and concise for you guys as possible. If you guys found this to be useful or if you learned anything along the way, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by or stumbling by the channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me about any of the projects that we talked about today, then make sure to leave a comment down below. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.